Hey guys, so um, it is Tuesday and I just got back um, from the office, uh, came back for lunch and we had our um, our noon prayer time today. We call it noon prayer, but it's uh, we get together. Um, it's usually just like a few people, um, sometimes just like leadership, um, you know, depending on the week, but it's just like a few people come in and we pray together. Um, it's open to more people, but just typically it's like leadership and things like that. Um, but so we had our prayer time and, and, um, our pastor wasn't there. So I, I led prayer time today. Um, I, I pretty much lead it whenever he's, um, I think my camera's shaking. Yeah. <laughs> whenever he's, um, either out of town or, you know, somewhere else, um, ministering or something, I lead it. But, um, so today he always gives us like, I'm trying to hit the table cause I keep doing that and the camera does this, <laughs> but, um, so he always gives us a paper, like a sheet of prayer needs, praise reports, things like that. And he always starts it off with a verse and we read the verse um, together out loud. But so I just wanted to read the verse to you guys um, because I really liked it today. I mean, obviously all verses are good, but um, I just really like this one. So it's First John um, 5, 14. And this is actually the message version. Um, so whatever version you read might be a little bit different as far as the way that it's worded, but it'll you know obviously mean the same thing. But it says, And how bold and free we then become in his presence, freely asking according to his will, sure that he's listening. And if we're confident that he's listening, we know that what we've asked for is as good as ours. Like as ours. <laughs> um so I love that last part. Um, we know that what we've asked for is as good as ours. Like if we're confident in him, if we're confident in who he is, um, then we know in another version of it talks about asking according to his will. We know that if we're asking for something and it's God's will and it's, it's what God has for us, then we know that when we're asking for it, it's just as good as ours. So basically what that means is it might as well just go ahead and be ours because we know that God is going to provide for us. So I love that version that just um, says uh, it's, we, what we've asked for is as good as ours because um, for a second I was like, wait, what does that mean? You know, what? <laughs> as good as ours. But basically what it means is it might as well just be ours because we know we can trust him. We know we're confident. Like it says in the beginning, we're bold and we're confident. And we know that um, if it's his will for our lives, then it's ours, you know, and we're asking for it. But but um, uh, we can be confident that if we're asking according to his will, that it's already ours. You know, we're praying for, um, you know, certain things to happen, praying for this, praying for that. And we know that if it's God's will, it's ours, you know. And that's what's so cool about being a child of God and being able to come before him boldly and confidently is that we don't have to come before him like, God, I guess, you know, you could do this for me if you wanted to, it'd be cool. Like we don't have to do that. We can be confident knowing that he wants to do good things for us and he wants good things for our lives. And it may not always happen in our timing or in the exact way that we picture it in our minds, but it will always be according to his perfect will. So I love that talking about the boldness and the freedom that comes in his presence. And I thought that was just such an incredible verse that he picked today. So I want to share it with you guys. <laughs> but um, So yeah, I'm having some coffee right now. Um, and just gonna go on <laughs> about my day. I hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna touch up my makeup. I just ran back to the church um, because somebody was dropping something off. I had to be there for it. Um, but I'm gonna touch up my makeup. The foundation I've been wearing, I'm out of my Limelight foundation. I think I said that, I need to order some really badly. I love that foundation. It's um, a wax-based foundation. It doesn't clog your pores at all. Like it'll never break you out. Um, it's just really good for your skin and, and not gonna be, you know, something that's bad for your skin. But um, I've been using, and this is one that I could never use before um, when I first bought it because it was too dark for me. Um, it's the Maybelline, it's kind of dirty on the outside, but Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. I got darker at camp that we went to for church, and then I've been laying out by the pool, which by the way, I thought the pool was closed. I don't think I said this in a vlog, but they like drained the pool. So I was like, what the heck, you know, it wasn't even open for very long. I was so upset because my mom and dad want to come out soon, and my mom wasn't looking forward to laying by the pool with me. Um, she's not into swimming, but she wanted to like go out in the sun with me and stuff. And I thought it was closed and I was so disappointed because I was like, oh my gosh, it's closed. And 
you know, she never got to do that and whatever, but actually, apparently they just drained it to clean it, which I hadn't seen them do. Like I've seen them clean it, but not drain it first. So I don't know if something had happened in it or <laughs> kind of afraid to ask. I'm gonna use the translucent powder just to set my face, mostly my T-zone. I don't really get oily um, anymore. I used to be pretty oily, but I don't really get oily anymore. But it helps to make the foundation last and I love the translucent powder. As you can see, I've already hit pan. I'm gonna put on some of the blush. I love this peach blush. It has some shimmer in it. It looks incredibly natural. Um, you can kind of see, I have it on this side. Or no, I don't actually, I didn't put it on earlier, but that's without it. This is with it. I could even apply more, um, but it's so pigmented. You don't want to apply it. I don't know if you can see, I have this ring light, so it's kind of washing out just a little, but it's super, super, super pigmented. Um, that's just literally like a swipe of it. But it's gorgeous. Their blushes are so pretty from Limelight. Um, actually, how I'm going to blend it out, I'm just going to put some of this translucent powder over it, and that really helps to just blend it out. So that's the blush. I love the Limelight blushes. They are so good, so long wearing. They look so natural. This shade Alive would be beautiful for darker skin and also even on a fairer skin tone. I really love it. So I love that. And then I've been using this bronzer. I don't have the Limelight bronzer, but this is the uh, Betty Luminizer bronzer from the Balm. I have the Mary Luminizer highlighter as well. But I love this bronzer. I wear it on my face, my eyes. It's got a shimmer to it, but it is the most natural shimmer ever. It looks orange if I just put a swatch. Like it looks more of the golden orange tone, which is not bad. But on the skin, it looks so natural. It literally looks like a natural tan. It's got just enough sheen. I don't know if you can tell. To where it just looks natural. It doesn't look glittery, but it looks like a glow. You know what I mean? I've been loving this bronzer and I don't put much because it is incredibly pigmented. I don't know if you can tell my forehead. My forehead is not tan and it just gives it that like look like I've been in the sun. It's beautiful. I've I've had this one for a while and I use it a lot, but as you can see, it doesn't even look like it because it's so pigmented. I just like barely touch it. And sometimes I use this as like just a blush because it just gives that like natural um glow to the cheeks as well um it is just really gorgeous yeah so anyway that's that bronzer i love it i need to get some highlight too but all right guys we are making some serious progress on the hair growth situation <laughs> i'm like so excited about this um i loved the pixie cut do not get me wrong i loved it but i'm just ready to have a little bit longer hair again and be able to like really curl it. I mean, when I say really curl it, I don't do like tight curls, but like real messy curls, I always did. I just kind of miss that, um, but I don't want it to be as long as it was. It was super long when Manny and I got married. You can look at, I'm gonna do a wedding video at some point, I'll show you pictures. I had extensions in, but honestly my hair wasn't much. My little ring light just died, but it's okay. We're gonna go on without it. <laughs> my, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, my hair wasn't much shorter than the extensions. It was just like the extensions helped and honestly they curled better and held better and they just helped with um, volume. I have really thick hair, but it just wasn't so much down here, you know, and I wanted like a thick, this area. Um, <laughs> um, and then I got to cut like my collarbone. So that is what I'm trying to grow it back to is the collarbone. I don't really want super long hair again. My hair is so thick that honestly, it was just too much. Um, I like the way that it looks at my collarbone. I like the way it looked um, really short as well. Um, but that was a really hard style to maintain because I had to get it cut so often in order to keep it exactly where I liked it. I didn't want it any shorter, but you know the back was like shaved. So if I didn't do it like every couple of weeks, it looked funny. All right, hi guys. So I am currently, um, <laughs> eating some blueberries, I'll show you. Eating some blueberries, hanging out, um, sitting on the bed, I'm home for the day. So I just wanna jump on here um, and just kinda talk, I don't know. I, I talk a lot in my vlogs and hopefully that's not annoying, um, but I like to talk. I'm a talker and I want my vlog channel, or my this channel, it's not just vlogs, but I want 
it's to just be like hanging out and you know be a friend to somebody i don't know you know that's that's what i like about youtube i watched jacqueline hills i'm gonna be eating blueberries during this so if you don't like to watch people eat i'm sorry and it's not gonna be gross it's just blueberries <laughs> so i watched like jacqueline hills um i don't know what it's called house tour because she got a um a new house or she she and her husband john bought a house and they were like renting before um but jacqueline is really cool to me um she always talks she's so real to me and i know people like they want to say the opposite about her in her comments and and i know like to some people now maybe she's not quite as relatable because you know she has made it pretty far and she has more money and has expensive things and whatever so i may not be in the same you know uh place in life as she is but i still think she's so relatable i'm like sitting on my phone what the heck um i still think she's like super relatable in the sense that she um like is just so open about where she was and so she talks about you know she lived in this apartment and like her and John, her husband, lived in, like, this small apartment, and they, you know, didn't have money for food a lot of times. And, like, she goes in detail about it if you really listen to her or read her tweets or anything. And, and she talks about where she started and, you know, all that stuff and, and how things have come full circle. And, and she's, you know, been so blessed with so many things. And so I think that's awesome. Um, and so I was watching her house tour, and it's beautiful. Like, it's seriously beautiful. You should definitely watch it. Um, I love all things marble. Um, when, when I end up owning a house, uh, that's what I want. It's like marble countertops, like black and white marble. I love that. Um, but anyway, so everything is beautiful. Her closet is incredible. It is so big. I thought it was a really nice house. And so I know she was hesitant about posting it because she gets some ridiculous comments. And so I watched the video. It was like 12 minutes long not very long and i didn't feel like she was bragging at all um she kept saying like this is so much better like this this is the size our apartment used to be like this one room like our whole apartment was this size she was like laughing about stuff and i thought it was super real super relatable but i know so many people in the comments were saying like this is ridiculous this is too big you don't need this blah 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 blah, blah. and number one they bought the house and i'm sure i mean she's talked about having kids and things like that so They've got room to grow into it. I mean, yeah, there is a room she said they're not going to use right now or whatever, but they're going to be there for a while, I'm sure. And their family's going to grow. And I know she probably wants a place for maybe family to stay if they visit. Or So that's not for us to judge. She may have something to do with that. Secondly, she's been really successful. And I, I legitimately don't understand why we as women, I mean, men, I'm sure do it, but especially women why can't we just be happy for, for people and just get over it? Like, I don't understand why we can't do that. Watching things like that doesn't, like, make me mad because she's got a nice place to live. Like, I don't know why that upsets people. Like, I don't even know her, and I was actually really happy for her. I think she's worked really hard um, over the years, and she's created, you know, a brand for herself, and she's done a lot of really cool things, and um, I think she's cool. So, you know, the fact that she you know, has a house, <laughs> that's incredible, you know, and the fact that she looks back and says, wow, a few years ago, I would have never expected this. This is so crazy. I just think that's, it's so awesome. So I don't know. I just don't understand why girls automatically have to jump in the comments. You're bragging about this. You don't need this. Why do you have, like, it's not your business, number one. Secondly, can you not just celebrate with people? You know, um, I don't, I just don't understand. I don't understand it at all. And so I just want to say that, I mean, it didn't look like her comments were too bad. There was a lot of really nice comments and you can't overlook that. And there was a lot of people that thought the same way I do. You know, it's awesome for her. But there was just some that I was like, what, why? You know, and I, I'm happy for her. I don't even know her. And I think it's cool that YouTube played a big role. I think it's cool that we live in a time where you can have a career on YouTube. I, it's not what I want. I have a career elsewhere, but you know, I think it's cool that people create that for themselves. And, um, you know, I do it for fun and for a hobby, but Jacqueline Hill made a career out of it and she's done a good job with it. And she's, you know, I don't know. She's just been very successful. So I don't understand hate. I've never understood hate. Um, there's no reason for it. 
and uh, there's no room for it <laughs> honestly we don't have time to act stupid like women we don't have time to act dumb we need to actually get out there and be nice and be loving and spread light and if you see somebody that has something nicer than you that's another thing i want to say when i see like jacqueline hill in her nice house it doesn't make me say like oh she's terrible i can't believe she would show that it makes me say like you know what i'm really excited for someday when i have a house you know when i can have marble countertops and i maybe could have a closet that size maybe <laughs> that is a big closet let me tell you um but for real it makes me think like man i can't wait until the day when i could buy a house you know and i mean i guess i could buy a house but you know when we're gonna stay somewhere for a while um you know a long 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 while um we'll buy a house and you know it makes me look forward to it i'm thinking you know what, maybe i don't know what kind of uh, position i'll be in then but i'm gonna keep working hard and i'm gonna get there and i want to have you know nice not that i don't have nice things i know i keep saying that but um i have nice things but you know things like a marble countertop or whatever else you know she's got um so it just makes me excited for the future and it makes me just want to keep working and and uh it makes me happy for her so i don't know why we can't just be happy for people and why we can't all just get along <laughs> and be friends so what are you doing got dad fed got him down for a snap <laughs> you got him fed is he a baby i got it fed and i got him down for a snap <laughs> what have you been doing today hey guys so i intentionally took my makeup off to end this vlog because I want to show you that my skin is really clearing up a lot. If you don't know, I have hormonal acne, so um, sometimes it just gets really bad. And I had a really bad cystic breakout. There aren't a whole lot of ways to control hormonal, hormonal acne, but um, the ways that I could, I'm not currently control. I'm not currently controlling it. It's not really being controlled by anything. Um, you know, there's very few things that actually make it better and that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, I don't know if that made any sense or if you follow me, but, um, so pretty much I had a really bad cystic breakout on my chin and I have not had one like that in a long, long time. Let me shut this. Um, but it was really bad. Cystic breakouts basically are under the skin. Um, and they hurt so bad. They're so hard to get rid of. They're really, really bad um and they swell up and it's just like really bad i only had a couple but because they're cystic it's just bad but anyway what i did was something that i used to do when i was in high school and i had them because i haven't had breakouts like i've been having in a while and again it's just hormonal like they just go away you know which is nice but it's frustrating because when they get bad like that they scar um but anyway i bought rubbing alcohol and I don't honestly know. I don't think this is like going to hurt me at all. And I, I, I'm sure somebody out there will have some kind of natural thing that is better than this or something. And I use natural skincare. But when I have a cystic breakout, um, this stuff, you guys, is so good for acne. I know that sounds weird to some of you. I've used it for years only on like a big breakout. But I think now I'm probably just going to use it on the areas that I get Um like my chin where I get really bad breakouts, um, I'm just gonna start using this stuff like regularly, even if I don't have a breakout, just on those areas. Because I really think it just helps to just, you know, get rid of that infection or whatever it is. Um, it just works so well when you have a bad breakout, I'm telling you. I mean, maybe you could just have one little pimple, it's not necessary, but when it's like a deep breakout, this stuff works. Um, but I just want to say that and just show my skin because it's not perfect, but it looks so much better. Like this up here is like scarring, I can tell, and that is a scar. But it's just looking better. It looks healthier, I think. I just put my must-do on from Limelight, which is an amazing face oil. I filmed a video today, a review of this lipstick that will be up very soon. I'm so excited. Um, but thank you guys for checking out the vlog today. I hope you guys had an awesome day. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you so much. Don't ever forget that. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See you guys later.